A real quick note from Brendan the editor before we begin this video. Josh did in fact receive his new microphone, but it ended up sounding like hot ass. We have a new epic microphone on the way, and this one will sound better, trust us. So please bear with us as the audio is not great. Thanks, now on to the video. What is up guys, welcome back to the PC Swaps channel. I'm Josh and today we're going to be teaching you how to ship a PC, either you're selling it to someone, maybe you're moving or maybe you're just going somewhere on a trip and you wanna bring your PC but you don't wanna actually bring it with you. We're going to teach you how you can safely package it up to avoid any damage during shipping and get it there in good condition. We're going to be shipping this small pre-built HP system. It comes with a Ryzen 5 2400G GTX 1050 Ti. We have an 8GB stick in there, but there are two slots. Um, it also has a 240GB M.2 SSD. So pretty low maintenance as far as shipping. There's not a whole lot and there's not really anything heavy in this PC. It's also pretty small. That makes it even easier. Obviously, if you're doing a bigger build and you're shipping that, you will need to take some extra precautions for things like maybe the hard drive, GPU and CPU core, especially if you have a heavy graphics card or a bulky slash heavy CPU cooler, you will need to make sure those do not move around during shipping as they may rip out from the motherboard and cause damage to both the motherboard and the part. You can take the graphics card out. You could also take the CPU core out if you are the person who is receiving the PC, um, such as moving, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that if you're shipping it to a customer because you don't want to have to have them install the parts after they get it. If you do have a bulky CPU or GPU, you can use anything that's low that won't carry a static charge, such as paper, foam, to secure the the parts from moving. Essentially, you just do not want them to move at all, so you can pack them up against the power supply, maybe the top of the case. Just make sure it's all snug in there. We'll go over that a little bit. Um, same thing with the outside. We do recommend about three to four inches of space or packing material between the box and the case. That way, if it's dropped, it should be okay. Obviously, we hope they don't drop our computer, but it can happen. I have seen it happen personally when I ordered a system. So you have to plan for that to avoid any damage or minimize the damage if there will be any. Um, I, obviously this system is pretty small. It's probably around 15 pounds. A regular size system, like a mid tower, maybe more like 20 to 25 pounds. So if you're I don't know, creating a shipping label. Obviously, it would be nice to, to actually weigh it, but just as an idea of how much you might be looking at um, weight-wise. So um, we're going to go ahead and show how we're going to set up the box before we put the computer in there, and then we'll go over how you can take precautions if you have a bulky CPU or GPU, and then we'll, we'll kind of finish packing it up, tape it up, and then we, we're going to actually ship this out, but that should be the end of the video after that. Okay, so we actually have a nice hefty stack of um, newspaper here that we're going to be using. We're going to fill the bottom of it with newspaper and then we have some nice air pockets that we're going to use around the sides to protect the, the sides and then we'll do some more newspaper on the top and that should be pretty good as far as um, you know keeping it secure. We'll also be adding the power cable in. Um, it's good to at least put that in a bag or um, just make sure it's not going to scratch the case, especially if you have something like glass um, on your case. So we're going to go ahead and start filling the bottom with newspaper. So here we have the computer, it fits pretty nicely, we will have a little bit of extra room for protection on the top. Um, again, the box isn't too perfect, but it will do the job. So if you do have a larger 
CPU cooler or graphics card, what I would recommend doing is putting, again, whatever you have on hand, bubble wrap, probably not bubble wrap inside the PC just because I, um, you might end up popping some of it uh, from the, the pins on um, some of the components, but uh, cardboard, paper, anything, anything like that should be fine. So if, if I'm trying to secure the, the GPU, I would maybe pack some in right here just to, you know, provide some extra support. That way it's not really going anywhere. This one is OEM and it's, it's pretty small and pretty lightweight. So I'm not going to actually keep that in there, but, um, like I said, that's pretty productive. If you had the CPU cooler, you could, uh, a bigger CPU cooler, you could fit in some, some more packing around the edges here just to make sure it's secure. Basically, you could fill the whole computer with um, packing and that would be obviously the safest option. Um, again, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because I don't think it's entirely necessary, especially if you're shipping to a customer. Um, you know, they probably don't wanna have to take out newspaper out of the computer before they use it so especially because this is pretty light I don't think it's going to have any issues and it's screwed in um, so that should be good all right so all the air pockets are in um, it's again it's a pretty almost perfect fit um, I just have the power cord I think I'm just going to slip it in right along the edge here that way it's not it's not damaging anything it should be fine i'm not too worried about it um, so that should be good as well um, we are kind of near the top of the box but um, you know we should have a little bit of room to lay down some more some more newspaper that way this is also protected um, and then we'll go ahead and tape it up. Of course, as always, more tape is better than less. So we'll make sure some of the sides are taped just in case. And then, yeah, it should be all ready to be shipped out. And uh, hopefully it gets there okay. All right, so it's all done. As you can see, I'm shaking it around and um, you know, there's not a whole lot of movement in there, which is exactly what we're looking for. Um, it is a little bit, the box is a little bit um, overflowing because I, I did the, the extra newspaper on the top, but I'd rather have it be protected than um, be potentially vulnerable. All right, so that about does it for how to ship and package a PC for shipping. Um, like I said, if you have the case for or the box for the case, I would just use that to ship the computer. Maybe provide some extra packing on the inside if you have a, a um, you know bulkier GPU or CPU cooler. Again, newspaper can be a great option. You can also try some expanding foam if you're willing to spend some extra money. We'll have uh, hopefully a little clip of how that work right now. You can also obviously use um, uh, these air pockets, maybe bubble wrap, especially around the computer um, instead of the air pockets that I had. Uh, you can use cardboard to support the, par the parts inside. You can kind of bend it however you want to um, I guess keep everything in place, whether it's against the case, power supply, or maybe another component just to keep things snug. But um, there's obviously more than one way to pack and ship a PC. This is just the way with, that I was doing it with what I had available to me and the computer that I was shipping. Other than that, I hope you found this video informative, enjoyed it, and maybe it was funny. I don't know. I'm not that funny. But um, other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.